Okay, one, one, uh, one question or several questions uh, about the neural review that we already did here in Spain, in the Spanish language from 2000. Uh, and uh, we are just in the middle of the relaunching of the, of the review in, this, in these two weeks. Mm -hmm. And uh, the first question would be, uh, how long do you know the neural review and uh, what is your opinion of the, of the, of the review, historical opinion about the, about the review? I, I think it has some of the most important contributions to uh, the analysis of uh, modern capitalism going back years and years in the uh, if, if, if you look back you're astonished how uh, how uh, uh, interesting uh, the material is and how early it has come out and then many other sort of uh, it's a leader in the uh, it's a leading uh, um, uh, journal uh, in the world of modern uh, uh, of the theory of modern capitalism, um, and it's a trend-setting uh, uh, journal, uh, and uh, I, I have begun to publish there, and I think four or five years ago, uh, when I thought that the traditional uh, uh, journals uh, uh, were, were too boring, you know? mm. and and no, nobody reads them. Now, now I'm really excited about the fact that. Uh, you you publish an article and you and suddenly you you discover how many people are reading yeah, actually the, the journal. It's an enormous number of people people that you really res respect uh, and and they, uh, uh, they they eagerly wait for the next uh, for the next copy. And, and and really, do you think that this uh, is an important initiative? Try to put in the Spanish language world this this publication is is worth to try the, to continue this effort to publish the the review in the Spanish yeah. language. I uh, uh, I was president of a uh, of professional association uh, many years ago, which is called the uh, uh, Society for the Advancement of Socioeconomics, and this is a global organization. It, and it, it, during this time, it became clear to me that uh, there's two things is the case. One is the uh, the, the Spanish-speaking world. They have an enormous interest in these subjects, and there are many. Uh, uh, many highly sophisticated people uh, who uh, uh, who are really completely receptive for, for this sort of debate. On, secondly, there is, however, a language gap. So be, between the English and the and the Spanish uh, uh, world, and in Sasi, for example, we now have sessions uh, in the Spanish language uh, because many of our people from. Uh, Latin America in particular, do, do not feel comfortable with uh, having to speak uh, uh, English all the time. One has to notice this and recognize this, and therefore I think uh, uh, translating uh, the excellent work that uh, is often published in, in the English uh, uh, language in, into Spanish is really a very, very good idea. Okay, thank you.